ever feel like your tech team like gets stuck? Like they're in this never ending game of coding, whack-a-mole. Oh yeah. You know, communication totally breaks down. Everybody's working in silos. Yeah. Maybe there's that one person, right, who like hasn't quite figured out version control. Right. It's like all the all the challenges of working in tech, they deserve their own error code. Totally. Error 404, mm. teamwork not found. You're, you're hitting on something really important there. You know, even with all the uh, amazing technology we have now. It's crazy. The human element, I think, is still the biggest factor in whether a team actually, you know, makes it or not. It's so true, right? Like, we can build these incredibly complex systems. Yeah. But just getting people to work together yeah. smoothly, that's the hard part. That's the challenge, yeah. That's why we are diving into this team coaching program. Okay, yeah. It's from Positivity Global Coaching, and it is specifically designed with tech leaders like you in mind. And what I find so interesting about this program is that it's, it's really targeted. Like, they recognize uh -huh. that leading a team yeah. of of software engineers or project managers. Right. It's a specific skill set. It's a different world. It is. It goes way beyond like traditional leadership training. It does. And you know what? They get it. They get that your time is precious. Right. This isn't like a week long retreat or anything like that. No. This program, it's designed to fit into your busy schedule, yeah. which is something I know you really value. hundred percent. Yeah, that self-paced asynchronous format is mm. really key. You can like level up your coaching skills between sprints. Yeah, exactly. You know, in those late night debugging sessions. Yeah. You can do it all without totally disrupting your workflow. Which is so key. And here's where it gets really cool. Okay. And I think this will like really resonate with you. Yeah. It's not just about like reading a bunch of stuff. Right. It's not passively absorbing information. This program really seamlessly blends self-study with, get this, one-on-one -on -one coaching and a huge focus on actually using those skills. Okay. No dusty textbooks here. This is about real-world application, like day one. Love that. And I think that this focus on practical application is really where Wiley's five behaviors assessment comes in. Oh, yeah. You know, based on the work of Patrick Lencioni. Yeah. It's like this really powerful diagnostic tool helps you uncover like the strengths, the weaknesses Interesting. within your team. Okay. I'm intrigued. So break down these five behaviors for me. Absolutely. So you've got trust, conflict, commitment, accountability, and results. Okay. The assessment basically helps you pinpoint where your team excels and more importantly, I think, where they might need a little coaching boost. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's almost like you're holding up a mirror yes. to how your team works. Right. And you're getting this clear picture of what's really going on. Exactly. Like, why does that one person never, ever speak up in meetings? Right. Or why do projects always seem to stall out, like, right when it's time to make a decision? You got it. And this this is where things get real. Yeah. Many tech teams, they they struggle with these five behaviors. Yeah, they do. And this program gives you a framework okay. for understanding yeah. and then actually addressing those challenges head on. Love it. So instead of just throwing around these big kind of scary words, right, right. like trust or conflict, yeah. this program breaks it down into like actionable steps that you can actually use with your team. Exactly. And speaking of communication breakdowns, you mentioned that's a major pain point for you. It is. It's a big one. This program really focuses on improving communication within tech teams. Yes. Which honestly sometimes feels like it requires its own language, right? It really does, yeah. It's like you need a dictionary just to understand each other sometimes. Sometimes. But it's so important. Oh, absolutely. Effective communication, it's, it's essential in tech. Totally. Projects, they often involve really complex technical details, yeah. right? And those details need to be communicated not just like within the team itself, but also to stakeholders right. who might not have that same technical expertise. They don't speak the same language. Exactly. And this is where I think the program's focus on user-centered design thinking is so smart. Yeah. Because it's all about really understanding like what your end users need. Right. And making sure that your entire team is like aligned with those goals. It's true. What's impressive is that even, you know, like huge companies yeah. like Microsoft, they invest in this kind of team development. Wow. Which I think speaks volumes about how valuable these skills are. Totally. Even for those companies at the at the forefront of, of technology. So we've established this program is really tailored to tech teams. Right. It focuses on practical things you can do. Yeah. 
And it covers really key areas like communication right. and user-centered design. Mm. But let's talk about the time commitment. Yeah. Because, you know, you were saying earlier, you're someone who wants maximum impact. Right. But minimal disruption to your schedule, which is already, let's be honest, dream pack. Totally. They've got you covered there. Yeah. So the entire program takes about 8.75 hours to complete. Okay. But remember, it's totally self-paced. Right. You could spread it out over weeks. Okay. Months if you wanted to. Oh, wow. There are no hard deadlines, <laughs> which is huge. Yeah, that's great. Especially in tech where things are always changing. Right. It's unpredictable. You got to be flexible. Exactly. So if you need to like squeeze in a module between meetings right. or, you know, do a coaching session after the kids are in bed. Right. Exactly. You've got that flexibility. You do. And I like that they break down how long each part takes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it's like 15 minutes for that five behaviors assessment. Okay. The one on one coaching sessions with an expert coach, those are about four hours total. And then they've got those video on demand sessions, which are great. Right. Really digestible, only oh. take about 1.5 hours total. Okay. So those are easy to fit in. Exactly. Think of them as like quick refreshers on the key concepts. Okay. And then to kind of tie it all together, they give you a hard copy of the book. Oh, nice. I love a physical book. Me too. Mm. Called Team Coaching, Mastering the Art of Synergy. Okay. It's full of like practical yeah. strategies, cool. real world examples that you can immediately start using with your team. So you're not just like getting all this knowledge dumped on you. Right. You get a roadmap. Yes, exactly. You yeah. get a plan for how to use it. I love that. But. Before we like dive into all the good stuff in the book, okay, we're going to take a little pause here, okay, and we'll be right back with part two of this deep dive. Sounds good. We're going to pick up right where we left off. Great. And really explore how this program can help you and your team. Looking forward to it. So, you know, picking up where we left off. Yeah. You might be wondering, like, right. how does this actually help me? Yeah. Like, how does this translate into real results. Totally. Because, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, right, it's got to make a difference. It does. It's got to have a positive impact, not just on, like, my team, but on the whole organization, right? Yeah, 100%. So let's talk about that. Like, what are those tangible benefits? What can someone like you, a tech leader, really expect to gain from this? So this is where you see, like, the light bulbs going off for people. Okay, yeah. The program, it talks about outcomes like employees being more engaged, right. better problem solving as a team, even better employee retention. Wow. And these are all things that are so crucial for a tech environment to actually thrive. Yeah. It's like they figured out the secret sauce, right? Yeah. To make a workplace where people actually want to show up every day. Right. And, and do their best work, which, you know, in tech, that's that's everything. It's huge. And it really all comes down to... Building a culture of trust, right? Yeah. Open communication. Okay. And and making sure everybody's on the same page about the goals. Right. That shared understanding. Yes, okay. exactly. When when team members feel supported, when they feel like they can speak up, yeah. when they're clear on their role. And how they fit into the bigger picture. Exactly. That's when you start to see amazing things happen. It's like it's that feeling of ownership, right? Yes. Where, you know, they're not just a cog in the wheel. They're yeah. actually contributing. They're bought in. They're bought in. Yeah. And that's why the program also spends time on how to deal with conflict. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Because let's be real. Conflict. It's going to happen. Yeah. Especially in tech. Everything's moving so fast. Right. Deadlines, pressure. Deadlines, new ideas all the time. Right. It's inevitable. Totally. But it's not about, like, pretending conflict doesn't exist, right? Yeah. It's about having the skills to deal with it. Mm, exactly. You said it yeah. perfectly. Yeah. It's about having those tools, the techniques. Right, yeah. To, like, work through those disagreements. Yeah. In a way that's actually productive. Right. Healthy, yeah. Healthy, exactly. Yeah. And honestly, that can make all the difference. It can. Between a team that just falls apart when things get tough. Right. Versus a team that comes out stronger. Right. Unified. Yeah. Unified. Yeah. Okay. So we've talked about the five behaviors, right? We talked about communication, that user centered design, the flexibility of the program, and now these incredible benefits. Like right. people actually wanting to work, they're staying longer. Yeah. But what about that book, Team Coaching, Mastering the Art of Synergy? What's yeah. like one thing, one takeaway someone could use right away? So, 
the book is great because it takes those core ideas right and it goes even deeper okay it's got all those practical strategies the real world examples you can use yes, like it. one of the biggest things is asking the right questions yes. yeah because i feel like as leaders we often jump into like here's the answer yes here's it's, the solution i'll fix it yeah we forget that sometimes it's better to guide people to the answer themselves a hundred percent and the book gives you this like framework for it okay for asking those questions that encourage people to think critically yeah to work together to own their part of it right it's not it's not telling it's asking exactly that's a good way to put it i yeah. like that a lot and i imagine by doing that it's not just about them like figuring out the problem right it builds trust yeah it makes people feel heard it creates that space that safe space right where people can can actually share what they think right challenge things yeah work together to find the best solution not just your solution this reminds me of this one project Ugh, it was it was a mess oh no like deadlines were missed left and right yeah nobody was talking to each other it's the worst morale was in the basement it wasn't until we actually started like having real conversations asking those tough questions you know like you were saying that things started to turn around yeah it's amazing right it is. Just changing how you talk to each other. It's huge. It can totally change everything. It's huge. And, you know, for me, that really solidified it. Like, leadership matters. It does. Coaching matters. Yeah. It's not about having all the answers. No. Nope. It's about creating the space for your team to really thrive. 100%. Yeah. It's about them becoming the best versions of themselves. Right. And then the results just follow. They do. They do. You know, it's it's really cool how this program tackles all these different challenges, right? Yeah. Like we've got communication issues, different working styles, people wanting to be more engaged. Right. And this program seems to address all of that. It does. It recognizes that, you know, it's not just about the hard skills. Right. It's about those soft skills, being able to talk to each other, work together, you know, all that human stuff. The human stuff's important. It is. It's huge. Yeah. Because you can have the best tech in the world, no. but if you can't communicate. Right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that's how you build a truly great team, one that lasts. Where people want to stick around. Exactly. Yeah. When people feel valued, when they feel heard, that's when the magic happens. That's when the magic happens. I love it. So for anyone listening right now and they're like, yep, that's my team. That's me. Yeah. Communication is down. We're siloed. I want to build a better team. Right. Where can they go to find out more about this program? So if you're ready to, to dive in, get all the details, check out Positivity Global Coaching. Okay. Their team coaching program. It's all with the link in our show notes. Awesome. And as you're thinking about it, right, deciding if it's the right fit for you, your team. Yeah. I want to leave you with one last thought. Okay. Think back to your most successful project. Okay, yeah. The one where everything just, it worked, the stars aligned. Oh, I love those. <laughs> the communication was perfect. Everyone was on the same page. You created something amazing. The dream. It was the dream. Now, ask yourself, how big a part did teamwork play in that? I'd say a pretty big part. Right. And that's what's exciting about this, right? What's that? It's like, that success, it's not an accident, it's not luck. You can build that. Yes. With the right tools, the right guidance, you can make it happen again. You can, and you can make it the norm, not the exception. That is a powerful thought. So it's not just about one project, it's about the whole culture. It's about the bigger picture. Yeah. It's about giving your team the tools to not just survive, but to thrive. To thrive, I love that. On that note, I think we'll wrap up this deep dive into team coaching. Sounds good. Hopefully you got a lot out of it. We certainly did. Absolutely. This is great. Until next time. See you.